We are launching the Inclusive Utility Investment Task Force. Also with us today are Matt Flaherty and Margarita Parra from Clean Energy Works. In addition, Kathy Davison from Roanoke Cooperative. Clean Energy Works and SEPA are partnering to advance equitable and inclusive financial solutions in support of a clean energy future. Besides the potential for fiscal sustainability, one of the reasons why inclusive utility investment has such high potential to scale beneficial electrification is the fact that it can deliver a win-win for electric utilities and customers. Inclusive utility investments can be applied to EV infrastructure and EV batteries. And the right spot on this is DTE in Michigan. So DTE uh, got the approval last year by the Michigan Public Service Commission to uh, implement a pilot. Uh, it was originally for two million for batteries on board transit buses. The program reaches out to all types of customers and our members from residential, commercial, rental, as well as our agricultural members. And we have more customers say yes to more measures than any other type of program. And our programs can be designed for a broad spectrum of upgrades. And so the data and field experience with inclusive utility investment programs, especially regarding consumer protections and overcoming some of those barriers to accessing clean energy upgrades, this has all led the EPA to highlight this policy design as an important model to help deliver benefits to underserved and overburdened communities. And this support from EPA has also led to the development of a new resource hub for inclusive utility investment. This is the map of the adoption of inclusive utility investments. So you can see a, a lot happening here. and We're very happy, but this is why we're doing this webinar because we want to color this map. And this is the, one of the first steps to do that. Join the task force.